Hi, welcome to today's tutorial. Today we're going to be learning to make this beautiful painting using gouache. So I'm using Bristol gouache and the palette that I'm using is handmade which is uh, white horse stains also because I didn't bake it hence the stains stay uh, but it doesn't affect your paint uh, so nothing to worry about that. Uh, so what I'm doing right now is I'm picking out all of my colors. I'm using three different blues and I'm mixing white with all of them because this gives you like a really nice consistency in your paints and I like the kind of pastely effect. So I'm going to now mix each of these colors. I've also got white in a separate section because I'm going to use them um, wherever required to blend it. Um, so I've used, um, I think, like, you know, Prussian blue, ultramarine, cobalt blue. And I've also used, like, uh, I love this cadmium yellow, which is like a mango yellow. And you can call it any name. Like, I prefer to just call it mango yellow. Um, I, I don't really... Um, use always the right names of the colors i like using it uh, the way i associate it with food uh, because i'm a big foodie uh, so that's what i've done here i have mixed all of these colors and you can see how beautiful the palette looks when the colors are mixed in this kind of a palette um, so this is what i've done and i'm going to start off now with the top part which is going to be the darkest color so always start that way um, for like you know a sunset kind of a painting or an evening sky uh, it looks really nice when you do that so I've created now the first color, I'm picking the second and the third. You will notice that I'm just going, my strokes are going left and right. Um, and um, I'm not really washing my brush each time I uh, pick a new color, except you know if I'm going to be picking white or if I'm going to be picking a color which is a completely different palette, like if I'm going to be picking the yellow. So what I've done over here is if the blue and the yellow mix directly, it's going to become green, which is why I have put in like a white uh, and now I'm going to be merging the yellow and probably a little bit of white. If there's a little green, that's still okay, but I don't want too much of a green to be seen, which is why I have done this. And each time I'm merging two different colors, I use white to do that. All you need to do is take a little bit of white in your brush and then again go left and right in uh, terms of your... Um, strokes and that really helps you to create a very smooth finish in your uh, painting so that's what i've done here and i absolutely um, love painting with gouache because of this right now it's a little shiny because it's still wet but once it dries the colors uh, look beautiful it's such a beautiful matte finish which is see so again uh, picking out some white and uh, it still gives a really nice color so uh, in watercolors if you do the same thing it's not going to be like this the yellow and the blue might end up mixing and creating a nice green um, uh, so i'm just trying to avoid that so the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to create my silhouettes you can wait for the base to completely dry before you add that um, or uh, here i know that my paints are pretty much dried especially in the yellow area which is why i'm going to directly create uh, some trees you can choose any kind of silhouette that you want to create you can create um, somebody from you know standing at the back and then you're adding different kinds of hairstyles to them uh, or you could have like buildings you could have cactus you could have anything that you feel like so i'm just going to add these details right now So in this particular um, bookmark that I have created, I have used um, the paper from Canson. So you get these like mini sketchbooks from Canson, which will be like a bunch of bookmarks um, uh, together. You can see that there's a small hole at the top. Um, so you can just like put a ribbon through and use it as a bookmark. So um, I find this like very nice. Uh, so I read a lot of books and uh, I use all of these tiny miniature paintings that I create and make it as bookmarks it's also really nice for gifting purposes and perfect when you are going to be practicing a lot of different kinds of art you can use both sides of this particular uh, bookmark because it's 300 gsm so when it is a thick paper it becomes really easy for you to practice on both sides uh, with gouache i would highly recommend you to use watercolor sheets you can try different texture you can try cold press or hot press hot press is where it's going to be completely smooth and cold press is where you can see a little bit of tooth in the paper so there'll be some amount of texture which will be seen so experiment with different kinds of ones um, and see which one is uh, the one that works perfect for your style of painting so this is um, the kind of one that i've created and you will need see that once it dries out it will be completely matte before that i'm going to just remove the masking tape um, and see how this looks if you enjoyed this tutorial do subscribe to my channel so you can get more updates and don't forget to make the same thing and tag me on instagram see you